Welcome back everyone, this is Sean Thomas, and we are looking at ARC Survival Evolves, patched notes for version 231.4. Alright, so we are looking at some more modifications to the tame dinosaur balancing, the adjustments they've got going on right now. So we had a big nerf in 231, and ever since they've been playing around with the adjustments. And what we've got in the latest version is an increase in the dino harvesting rate, it's up 35%. So that uh, that should bring us a bit up uh, to where we we were previously at. Probably not as good, but a uh, step in the right direction, in my opinion. Keep those base building uh, dinosaurs, such as the Ankylos and Dodecos, moving. All right. We've also seen some uh, change to the turrets here. So it used to be three times prior to the dino rebalance. Now it's 2.5 times turret damage versus dinosaurs. So a little bit less sting from the turrets. But uh, keep an eye out, we've got 1.5 times non-bullet projectile damage versus flyers. So that's a mouthful. Non-bullet projectile damage versus flyers. So as I read this, it's arrows that they're talking about have been increased by 50% uh, with that 1.5 times. Alright, so with that, uh, the bullets, I guess, were uh, they didn't want to buff them against the flyers as much since they've already got the increased damage. The uh, the arrows not having as much pack uh, power pack as the uh, bullets and probably not firing as quickly. They wanted to buff that up, so that's what we're seeing here with the 1.5 times. There's also a reduction in health for all tamed flyers and quetzals, which are also flyers. I'm not sure why they called them out specifically, but minus 30% HP. Uh, so what we're looking at there is just um, a further weakening of our of our Quetzals and, and our Tranodons who already have low health, the Argents as well. Uh, the Argents are pretty good on health usually, but uh, the minus 30% along with all the other adjustments, it's hard to keep track of what the ending uh, amount is on these. So minus 30% and an increase in arrow damage to the Flyers, it's not looking too great for them on that. And also take into account we've got uh, some other dinosaurs like the Gigantosaurus that you want to pick up because of the, how high their health is and how how big the damage and the fact that they can destroy stone. Well now it's a flat negative 20,000 tamed base health on the Gigantosaurus. So before they nerfed all the, all the dinosaurs we had a uh, Gigantosaurus over the level of 100 and it had 70k health and then after it was done uh, with the, the first wave of nerfs it was down around 40 or 50k health so if I'm reading this, it's going to be down to close to 30k health, which is right around where our Quetzals were as far as health before the nurse. So I, I'm hoping that <laughs> that we see some further adjustments here. I, I, I kind of looked at the Gigantosaurus as, as being uh, a very uh, dangerous tame to have on hand because people can grief you. They can attack it from range if it's inside your enclosure, and they can get it to start killing things that you've got inside your own base and by reducing the health it's just going to increase the likelihood and the ease that that can be done with. Um, match that up with the fact that we've got uh, a harder time uh, battling the other wild Gigantosaurus. They reduce some of the health, but you know, pitch a Gigantosaurus against a wild one, I'm not really seeing a contest. Uh, the 25% direwolf tamed HP so uh, direwolves don't get the benefit of saddles, so I kind of see that this is one of those things where without a saddle you kind of need a little bit more health to to not have your dire wolves perishing too quickly so that's another modification there that they've done they also have an asterisk next to turret damage versus dinos bullet and projectile turrets can be customized on your server so if you are a server admin and you like the way it used to be you can modify it back with the windows server game i and i and uh, they they show the uh, the script to make that uh, back to what it used to be script slash shooter game dot shooter game mode and then put the down to a damage multiplier to one all right well I hope this has been helpful for everyone we are still looking forward to further balancing with the dinosaurs hopefully uh, returning to some of our previous uh, enjoyed stats on the dinosaurs and we also have the week of January the 4th so wrapping up on this week we should be seeing the tribe alliances PVE and PVP Improved save game and save and load times. All current items are now on the master items ID array. Tribe member rankings with customized per rank privileges and beer brewing. So for me, the highlights there are the tribe alliances. It's going to be fun to join up with other tribes, make peace with them, maybe join them in some boss fights and some cave runs. 
Also, uh, it, it will add some wrinkles with the p potential for uh, tribes having alliances where people violate the truce and perhaps sneak into their base and feed polymer now that the turrets aren't targeting them, things like that. Uh, and then also with the tribe member rankings, it'll be nice to bring in some lower level tribe members and uh, have the ability to customize what they can do within the tribe, perhaps only allow them through certain doors or have uh, uh, vaults, whatnot, uh, be unaccessible by lower tier members. I'm not quite sure what kind of customizations they're going to give, but there's probably a lot of potential there. You definitely won't, don't want uh, lowest tier members dismantling your base and uh, freeing your dinosaurs up to be claimed by other tribes. And then there's beer brewing, so I'm expecting to see double with that one. All right, thank you all very much. I hope you enjoyed. Mash that like button. Please subscribe and share. Thank you. These things are free to do, and by subscribing, you'll have access to additional content as it's released. You'll get notified, and also uh, be made aware when we're streaming. Have a good day.